Welcome back to another episode of Graveyard Keeper. I'm Lord Dragon Tree, and we're going to continue where we left off. So, last time I mentioned that, uh, yeah, I was going to be uh, doing some bits and pieces, some generic stuff to gather resources, all that fun stuff, but uh, guess what? Turns out... There's all those, uh, what you call them? Thingamabobs. Called. What are they called? Right. Um, pottery things. Bowls. Yeah, not, not the best option, because, uh, turns out, um, can't actually use them. Whee! For anything, or for selling them. So, yay for that. Oh well. Life could be worse. Um, did I get the. Mothman. We did. So let's go grab a whole bunch of flowers. Next Moon's Day. I'm going to want to make sure we go and turn in moths to our friendly Mothman. We can get a free fishing bowl. <clears throat> bowl. Not bowl. Pole. Fishing pole would be kind of weird. Fishing bowl. I don't know what I'm saying right now. Do any of y'all know what I'm saying? I don't. Speaking is hard. For some reason I thought trying to make a living off talking was going to be a good idea. Insane. Last <clears throat> Maybe we can grab ooh the flower. Hurt ourselves to grab a little bit. Honey. Butterflies. Cute. Excuse me. Alright, so I'm um, just grabbing a whole bunch of flowers, hopefully getting some more butterflies or bait. That way, try and get the next set of quests done for the church. I'm also trying to grab some additional honey. I'm going to go to the refugee camp. Because, if I recall correctly, yes, there's one or two honey trees in the area. Oh, hey, I got a bee. Oh, nice. Hmm, if I recall correctly. Hum, 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 hum. Or bees. Um, like I was saying, <clears throat> if I recall correctly, there may be a way to get some of the things that I need. There we go. All right, four honeys plus the one we have at home. More berries. Pretty good. Here, got even more berries. Or this thing is busted apiary.
All right. This honey. I can't remember if you can sell honey to the beekeeper or not. Do I need to actually have the ah, bee domestication? Wires, paper, and simple iron parts. No. All this. Go ahead and grab more of our resources because we need resources. And toss that in there. That. For some reason. Oh yeah, I was gonna do stuff at the church. That can wait a little bit. I do need. <clears throat> excuse me. Technologies. Last blow. Oh, a better furnace. <laughs> I knew that. Wonderful. Fun the bag. Go to fun the bag. Oh, we're going to go down to our little box over here. Toss in all this, all the bugs. Those are used for anything. Then we will teleport back to Dead Horse and hopefully we can get to uh, the crazy man in the hut. Everybody's favorite weed dude. I'm sorry, hemp dude. All right, ding dong, bing bong, bing. Here's your honey. What that cake recipe? Yeah, I can make cakes now. All right. I need hemp seeds and that. And got some oil. Now I can go to the donkey. Donkey. And have him do stuff for me. But well, we're going to sleep first. Because <clears throat> goodness knows we are injured. This isn't even going to be enough to fully heal us, but that's fine. Do -do 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 there we go. Sleep and refresh. Go ahead and toss that. Whoops. Yeah, we'll use it all up. That I have no doubt. Veet. Bake it meat. Have some meat. Okay. Make some more sandwiches. All right, so let's go ahead and here a couple more plots dedicated to my hemp production. There was for what you need that for. need that, that's for sure. <clears throat> Doop. Doop. Right. Right. And then we'll farm more carrots. Wheat. There we go. All right. 
Got enough for all of them right now. Wait. And we're going to need to go buy more wheat seeds. Great. Toss some more of that in there. Seeds. All right. Head back up to the house. Uh, while I'm waiting on tech, I'm going to go ahead and just get you making some more iron because we will need a lot of iron. Wheat cabbage goes in there, wheat goes in there. We got plenty of stuff baking. That. And I will skip over that. A donkey. Carrots. I need, oh, I need an actual flask of oil. Okay, good to know. Screwed that one up. Oh, well. Nope, we're not talking to you. We're going to get rich and famous before we do that. I'll actually buy it. So if you talk to the merchant before having five gold, and that is five gold, then you won't be able to um, I forget. do some stuff. <clears throat> I forget what it is, though. Anyway. Okay. Got that. Sorry, my brain is all over the place today. Or bread. Iron. More carrots. Yeah. More carrots for the carrot god. Excuse me. All right. You. Here. Great. Finally, I'll get a little peace and quiet, and I'll be able to think about my theories, and ways to fight for what's right. I already have all the war threats on my side. Gimme, 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 gimme. You look a little tired. Do you sleep well? Oh, sorry to be sleeping so much. Turns out it's hard work being a graveyard keeper. I have to do everything by myself. Hmm. I remember something. In the old days, the keeper used to have a lot of helpers. Well, a lot like me, but without the sense of humor. All of them should still be chained to the wall in the northern part of the church cellar. Oh, one more thing. I don't remember quite why, but you should never unchain him. Never. Go. Autopsie. This is a good body. Oh, well, fucked it up. <clears throat> good to know. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> And if I take the skull off, I think that will. Nope. I'm gonna do it for a while. Heart, flesh. We're going to need. In and food for the church. Eh, blushy stuff. Oops. I ran out of energy. Just grab everything off this body. If I recall, you can start make. We'll want to be able to make potions soon enough.
body, and we're going to burn it. Doop. Do to do to do. Or not. Let me grab some billets. Diggy diggy hole. It's running back and forth, such excitingness. So we're going to make a whole bunch of billets. That way I can just slap them all down there. What the? You got more bodies for me, bro? Now what? Dear comrade, it is my assignment to inform you that Equal Pope DDB in a plenary meeting made the decision. Sorry, Eco who? Eco PDP, the executive committee of the Pro T of the Donkeys Proletariat. You are addressing a general secretary, by the way. Ah, okay, that explains everything. So the Eco PDP has decided to. You who you be? Weird to say. Has decided to give you one last chance to rehabilitate yourself in the eyes of enlightened labor. Thanks. Our party has reached the phase of active preparation for revolutionary upheaval. Your role will be key. <laughs> and if I refuse, then we'll burn down your home, graveyard, garden, and church. And worst of all, you'll be publicly reprimanded and placed on the party's blacklist. We're glad you've agreed to help. Now come closer and listen carefully. As you realize, this is all top secret. We'll communicate via notes. Notes. Are you going to write notes? Those who no less sleep better, and I wouldn't recommend smelling them. Ross, prepare and send to our post office a cookbook for our friend, the Ratchi. He loves cuisine, and the success of the revolution will be impossible without the Ratz's help. Second, send to our post office five red apples to raise the morale of the oppressed donkey commune. You must. Wait, I have no way to send all this stuff discreetly. He said this is top secret, therefore... Therefore, it is your responsibility to create and install a special box for contraband. You will be stuffing all the contraband inside the box. And then I or other party members will take them away under cover of night. Uh, don't worry, you'll manage it. I believe in you. Good luck. Tails crossed. Ah, oh, that damn donkey. Doop, 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 doop. So when we head over to... Uh, What's his face? The uh Why is my brain refusing to tell say say things? Do things. It is. Oh well. <clears throat> Once we head over to the fisher guy to get our fishing pole, then we'll grab those apples from some of the uh trees on the way over there. Alright. Let's stone in there too. Alright. So we need to craft a whole bunch of wooden billets. That should be enough. I think it's eight per. We'll grab the wooden billets. And then go burn a body. Well, so one of the nice things about this game is that the resources take a while. If I don't know if they do disappear, but if they do, then they take a while. Alright. Build this. Light it on fire. And then we'll go chop some more trees down. Make some more billets. Do 
Do need to run over to the church sometime soon, but getting this out of the way will be Right, and then run up, and drop, drop. All right, <clears throat> and then another eight. Oop. Yes, yes, I know you want to sleep, but no, you've got to work. Get back to work. A couple more. Replace the other ones. We have a full four stack. Huge. Right. Toss you in there. Run down to the bodies. Yay. Good day we're running it. Yep. All right. Salt. The ash. There we go. All right. Uh, we'll just leave them unbuilt for now. I think... I think we're good there. Who else we need for down? Alright, so we've got a church workbench. We need a... Uh, can't get a lens. So we need a desk and a study table. The desk requires nails. So up next will be take all this in here for now. <clears throat> right. And let's go ahead and teleport to the dead horse. Right. Can't talk to you. How about uh, you? Oh, she's a vampire. We'll be able to look with husband. About the vampire. Hey, could you tell me a bit about that vampire? No, I couldn't. I won't say another word until Horadic apologizes for his disgusting behavior. Okay, I'll ask him. Do, 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 do. Go. Now. I'm not. Horadic, Chain asked you to say sorry for your. Me! Say I'm sorry! I found my wife's lover in my own bedroom, and it's me, I have to say. Sorry, just pick her. He looked right at me and then jumped through the window. And now she's insisting that she's merely sleeping with the fellow as a common vampire. Maybe she could be right. Go to her and inform her that I demand an explanation. Huge. He wants an explanation. What? An explanation? Go ask him why he was returning home after midnight that day. Listen, I'm sorry about your family troubles, but do you have anything useful to tell me? I don't know anything. I was asleep. Very well, and have a good day. Wait, the astrologer knows a thing or two about vampires. He was attacked 30 years ago. Little story. And so we'll be talking to him about that as well. Oh, yep, then we need to run this way to go talk to the sun, as well as pick up some more wheat seeds. Hello, kitty. Hello. What you doing, little girl? I'm pretty cat. Yeah, you are. Okay. I need to finish my chores or father will be terrifyingly angry. Hello, kitty cat. Hello. Hello. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have some questions for you, child. Very tall child. About the vampire, do you promise you won't laugh? My father, my uncle, all the neighbors, none of them believe me and just laugh. I promise. I'll be serious. 
That night, my father and Uncle Miller were drinking Uncle's wheat whiskey. I was home alone, and some man came through the window. At first, I thought it was my drunk father. I even called out to him, Dad, but he it was like he didn't hear me. And dressed and go on. In a flash, I knew it wasn't dead, and I hid under my blanket, and he, he, he just went away. Please don't laugh. Everyone laughs at that part. No worrying. At 15 years old, I'd have been scared, too. Thanks a lot, but I'm 22. Yeah, I was wondering about that. Wild my left buttock. Uh, there it is. Okay. Wheat seeds. There we go. All right. Grab some berries and then go home. What? what baby girl. Oh, baby girl. Ah! I've been attacked by a cat. I'll have to pardon me. This is the way I'm going to be living for now. Mm-hmm. Y'all had better subscribe, like, and subscribe for this. For sats. Is that right? Well, what am I supposed to do? I've got a cat attacking my hand. Ah, baby. I love you, too. All right, let's get this body downstairs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, hello, kitty cat. All right, you haven't slid off yet. Get it sliding off. Oh, that's a terrible body. Skin. Honestly... I'm gonna do that. Oh, baby girl. Wow! <laughs> Don't fall, would you? And now she's attacking the mic. Ah, 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 what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do, baby? <laughs> this video is now about my cat. <clears throat> yes. Hello. This is a formerly feral cat, by the way. Yeah. Here's a little baby. Mm-hmm. Like and subscribe for Ursats. Yeah. Yeah, so they should just start making ASMR videos of petting a cat. And the happiness. Oh. So Ursatz is German for replacement. Because we got her after losing our other our old cat. My old cat, I mean twelve years old. At least. And this one's a rescue. So it's her quote unquote brother. They're not from the same litter. They just got them from the same place. They're both pretty young. I think she was here four months. Well, no, he's 12 weeks. He was 12 weeks. So she would have been a month or two older than that. He still likes to lick my fingers. Mm. All right, well, that's going to be it for this video. Um, appreciate you guys watching, and have a wonderful day. Again, like and subscribe for the Ursats comp. Ursats stuff. Oh, wait, you can't see her. Oh, wait, you can just barely see her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can see her down there. Looking my Okay, that's going to be it for today. Thank you so much. Uh, like and subscribe for more.